folks, this is Alex Barnwell with Barnwell Insurance and Financial Services and today our topic is retiree health insurance. What happens to your health insurance when you retire and what are your options? So first of all, if you retire before you're age 65, you get to keep your group health insurance that you have at your school as long as you have had 10 years of credible service and at least three years of continuous health insurance coverage immediately before you retire. Um, the other option is you can have 20 years of service and you've had the medical insurance the year before you retire. So if those two things are in play, then you can keep your health insurance that you have with the state uh, and the school system currently until you're age 65. Some school systems will pay for that uh, employee amount of premium and some don't. So it just depends on the school system that you're in. Um, once you get to that point, then you go to Medicare. So when we go to Medicare, I've got some things on the board here, and we're going to go over these. So when you go to Medicare, that's at age 65, age 65 plus. So just looking at Medicare, there's three parts. You've got Part A, which is hospital, and you've got a $1,408 per uh, per visit or admittance to the hospital deductible. So if you went to the hospital three times, you'd have to pay that deductible three times in that year. Part B is the medical. The medical has $198 a year deductible, but which is not bad, but the 20% copay is. So if you had to have knee replacement surgery, it was $50,000. 20% of $50,000 is 10 grand. So you'd have to have $10,000 to pay that copay. Now the Part A for Medicare it doesn't cost anything. You've already paid for that with your taxes. Your Part B is going to cost $144.60 a month. Now it'll come out of your uh, Social Security check if you're drawing Social Security at that point in time. If not, they'll just bill it, uh, you know, monthly bill. Part D is for the drugs. So the thing about every every uh, Medicare drug plan is there's a donut hole between four and eight thousand. And what that means is at first four thousand they're going to pay really good just small co-pays then after it gets to four thousand all the way up to eight thousand your, your drug plan pays nothing and then anything over eight thousand they pay almost everything now these drug plans they cost anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars per month depending on the drugs that you're taking so that's how medicare works so the problem is is you've got this big hole here and you've got this big hole here so that's why you need to get a Medicare supplement. Unfortunately for you, if you're in Tennessee and you're receiving a TCRS retirement benefit, you're eligible for something called the Tennessee plan. And the Tennessee plan is a group Medicare supplement plan for people that are receiving a TCRS check and their spouse. Now they have to be on it before their spouse can get on it. But anyhow, that's how it works. So what happens, the Tennessee plan, it comes in and it pays this, and it pays this. So in essence, if you've got the Tennessee plan and Medicare, the only thing you're going to pull out of your pocket, in addition to the premiums, is $198 a year. So that's about as close to 100% health insurance coverage as you can get. Um, and it, it, since it's a group plan, it doesn't go up a whole bunch just because you get older. They have to increase the rate for everybody, not just one person because they're getting older. So those premiums are very stable, and you can, uh, you can you budget them. The other thing about the Tennessee plan is there's not a doctor's list, there's not a hospital list. So you can go to any doctor, any hospital that accepts Medicare, and they will accept the Tennessee plan. And that's in the country. That's not just Tennessee. It's nationwide. So... You got different premium levels, so if you've got retired with 30 years plus and TCRS, then that's going to cost you, that plan is going to cost $90.55 a month. If you got between 20 and 29 years, it's $103.50 a month. And between 15 and 19 years, it's $115.55 a month. If you got less than 15 years or you're buying it for your spouse, then it's going to be $140.55. So if you basically looked at this and you had 30 years, you would be paying, say, $145 for Medicare, $25 for the drug plan, 
and say ninety dollars for the for the uh, uh, Tennessee plan. So you're up at five, six, seven, sixteen. So you're paying about two hundred and sixty dollars a month for a hundred percent health insurance coverage. Basically, that's not bad because now you'll never have another doctor's bill or anything that's going to really uh, cost you a lot of money. The only thing that you can get into trouble with a little bit is if you have cancer or heart issues, then you may want to get a supplemental policy. Because about half of the cost of cancer and heart is uh, medical and the other half is non-medical. So we'll have another workshop about that and tell you how that works. So. With that in mind, if you need to know more about retirement or any of the other things that we do, we're going to be, uh, you'll have access to a, uh, like a lounge poster with a QR code. You can go on that QR code, scan it with your phone. You'll get a, uh, an interest card that you can fill out, fill that out. That comes to us, then we can get in contact with you and get an appointment. And we're also giving away uh, uh, Amazon gift cards every week while we're doing all of these presentations probably throughout the rest of the year and that will get you enrolled in that for that particular week's drawing. So with that, have a great day and I will talk to you soon.